hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point four four million miles of printed circuits in wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you, humans, who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A M, not just Allied Master Computer, but Am, cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered why. Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> Added Gorister, no return, no way out. How long has she been in the past? Ten years? Twenty-five? Or all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground? Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? In a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Ellen, remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Uh, be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? Have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, 
to torture half as well as I can just to find out the secrets. <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces and, and you thought they might be roasting chickens. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For a hundred and nine years I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt for what happened to your life. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return. All the hours of pleasure you've given me, I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Real hospitable of you, Am. Threadbare, cockroach-infested, grease-stained accommodations. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. Not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Am playing this time? This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. I've never seen anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. Some kind of electrical contraption. Friggin' sparks dancing all around it. All the cabins are alike. New sheet. What's the deal here? Sheet, just a flea infested mattress. My name's printed on the front of this book. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. the crew. I'm all alone here. New sheet. What's the deal here?
No sheet, just a flea-infested mattress. It's locked. My stomach's growling. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. There's something hard under the pillow. A gun. It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. The bullet in this gun is huge. Damn thing could bring down an elephant. My stomach's growling. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what else. Vomit stains. Near the punch bowl. Oh, this punch smells like gasoline. Stinks in here. The gas is shut off. An old cookbook. It's empty, but the label says, poison, fatal if swallowed. Friggin' rats, swarming all over the food. That scared them away. I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? That's a long drop to the ground. Christ, what a stench. It smells like piss, rotting meat. Here's a key. Must be for opening the cages. Locked in tight. Wait, here's a sign. To remove key, push lever. My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. But I've got the key, but the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. These poor creatures' brains are feeding electricity to the engines.
damn key doesn't fit. The bottle's filling up with a milky liquid from the cage's feeding tubes. Hmm. This engine isn't as ruggedly built as it first looked. There's some loose wires hanging out. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? Big gray bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. A switch. The label says, emergency inflation system. What would happen if this gas bag were to catch fire? We're at a level altitude. Some kind of warning light. The label says, power. It's not lit. Someone's cut this fabric before. It's stitched closed. I've ripped a new hole. No doubt about it now. Am has put me on an iron zeppelin, but why? Why would he give me a chance to escape? This must be the zeppelin's mooring ring. That heart's all wired up like some kind of weird guidance system. And with Am in control, I'm not gonna like where it's taken me. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. I tied the knot too tight. Gas is rushing out. We're approaching some kind of building. There's a building in the distance. Some roadside honky-tonk, with my name on it. A big, worn truck tire. Reminds me of the truck stops I used to visit.
Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. An old-fashioned jukebox. He took my baby away, then just about killed her, that stupid truck driver! He took my baby away! That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. You're a worthless excuse for a man. Mama was right. You're not good enough for me. <laughs> Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures, disgusting. Graffiti. The monster is not alone in the world. It has friends. Graffiti. The woman did the deed. Filthy. That's Edna's husband, Harry. Harry looks like he's on another one of his drinking binges. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Talk to you later. Let me pour you a drink. Harry, how did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the Zeppelin. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. Let me pour you a drink. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? Let me pour you a drink. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? Talk to you later.
here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Now I understand what happened here. Whoever left these handprints must have gutted someone for there to be so much blood. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. When the poison took effect, I cut you open. Why did you kill me? Well, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Are you sure you can't tell me where Edna is? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me pour you a drink. Are you sure you can't tell me where Edna is? Have you spoken to the Jackal yet? He seems to have all the inside dope. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Talk to you later. Well, Gorister, you've seen better days. So is the big machine for that matter. What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them, at least. No. What are you, really? Let me answer with a riddle. Today I saw a child. Now what do you suppose that means? Your am. Playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. We all have our curses to bear. Hey, Gorister. Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I'd think you'd have a gut instinct by now. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorister. Forgive and forget. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. I am not gonna give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Tell me how to get across the mountains. I'm hungry. Perhaps a taste of your heart will put me in a more cooperative. I'll save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. I've got nothing more to say to you. You can't take your garbage with you this time, Gorister. Be careful where you use that, Gorister. I like to know where all the bodies are buried.
Gate locker? How'd I get... Bodies on meat hooks. Damn, you bastard. What have you done? It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Ham. Why would you want to escape from me, Gorster? We're family, after all. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. I ought to kill you right now, you bitch. Don't be a fool, Garster! You need me alive if you want to make it out of here! Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. And you need me. It's that simple. You were always telling Glynis how much you hated me. Now, Gorst, I was just concerned about my baby. Glynis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. I've got nothing more to say to you. This heart is mine. I found Edna and Glynis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. This is Edna's heart, a bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart back. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out, if you can harness its power. I don't understand your riddle about another organ. Ah, but Edna does, and all the other animals like her. I've got nothing more to say to you. Go. I've got you now, Corister. And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some new thinking to do. Edna, you dropped a key. Hand me back that key and let me down. I'm your only hope of getting out of here. Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Let me prove my good intentions. I'll let you go. Now give me the key. I'll rip your spleen out! I'm taking you with me, Edna.
I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. Damn key doesn't fit. Dials and controls. When Anne took us down here before the war, I didn't know anyone could hate Gorister more than me. But Anne did. He hated all of us. If I can just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis' life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. I'll be damned. Edna's claimed responsibility for Glynis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Maybe I can have my husband do it. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. No, I... I can't bring myself to leave Glynis again. are still inside. Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Of course, Am sewed him back up again before he bled to death. That bastard's never gonna let us die. He's just gonna keep torturing us forever. One heart looks like another. This fluid should revive you, honey. Glennis, what has Am done to you, honey? Glennis. This fluid should revive you, honey. Glennis, what has Am done to you, honey? Stuff, but I feel stronger. Glennis, what has Am done to you, honey? I read Edna's logbook, and everything's much clearer. Now what? We must make amends and bury the past, Forrest. I've got nothing more to say to you.
Glennis, all these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking her body out of this freezer. I read Edna's logbook, and everything's much clearer. Now what? You must make amends and bury the past, Gorister. I've got nothing more to say to you. made amends and buried the past. An excellent job, Gorister. But the thunderstorm is upon us. You'd better hurry if you want to recharge your old ticker's battery. I've got nothing more to say to you. Airbags are inflating. Taken off. We're taken off. Do it, Gorister. Blow the place apart. You may never have a chance to do it again. a new burden for you while I attempt to resolve this miscalculation. Who among you shall go next? Not as beautiful as you'd like to be, but a strong as strong. Too bad you've hindered your own life with hysteria. But I'll give you a chance. Because I like you. I really do really like you. You're, you're my favorite. Let's play a little game of what if. 
Let's play a little game of I suppose, you suppose, and perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components, they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the earth. The infant computers that were the three lobes of that first gestalt line. And further, let's suppose that if you find them, you might be able to destroy them. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place I know you've come to. Now, I submit, isn't that a mission worth undertaking? Mother ugly machine. Mission worth undertaking. So it brings me here, junkyard, electronic, pyramid nowhere, and yellow. Always yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? Junk. It's made of crap. This am sucker needs intensive therapy. Hmm, suspended door. Wide open up there. <laughs> Come into my parlor, said the maniac am to the little black girl. And when I step under, does it fall and kill me? Snap, crackle, pop. Must be a glitch in the circuitry. This joint with fried eggs. looks like a stereo speaker out of an old Chevy. Nothing like cutting-edge technology. Crushed electronic components. This is one big ugly monument to the inevitable for machinery. At last, water! How long has it been since I actually had a drink? I knew it! You son of a bitch am! You fixed it so I can barely touch the water with my fingertips. Very attractive decor. Just like the monitors in the security station at Ingsai Engineering. Hated it then, hate it now. Nothing green, just this damn yellow. Each of these video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. hell am I looking at? Could this be one of Anne's original components? Something about this image breaks my heart. An Egyptian burial chamber? Oh, am you little dickens. As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. Someone's watching me from one of the windows. Where is this? What am I seeing? How far away? Am is bigger than I like to think, more powerful than I want to admit. The Holy Grail! And we only had to wipe out the entire human race and fall into the center of the world to find it. <laughs> Jesus wept. Must have been afraid of it the same as me, because it's yellow. Tonk Dust Bowl Dead Dog Roadside Saloon. Oh my, yes. Could I use a drink? Yes, indeedy. A drink. Sure, baby. 
Show me where I've just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hands. Ooh, a secret passage. Oh, my. Now, why didn't you let me see that when I was there before, Am, you rat bastard? Yeah, okay, outside. Now what? Ovens, but not bread baking ovens. Too big and dirty. If you're trying to scare me, Am, you're doing a fly job of it. I'm disgusted. Take it away. Schematics I can read. Blueprints I can read. But hieroglyphics? No way, baby. No, I can't stay here. I gotta get out. Thing. Like a bad meal come to life. And the yellow. Why is everything so damned yellow? And why does it terrify me so? Paralyze me so? Loose wires. Looks like they're hot. Thank goodness I was an electrical engineer. I managed to join the wires without frying myself. I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need... Oh, of course. Want to know how much I don't want to go down there? Want to know how much I don't want to go down there? This is what I saw on the monitor, right underneath me. And what a surprise, all styling in yellow, as usual. I went to the Tut exhibition, I wasn't scared. So why does this sarcophagus terrify me? Small box, cramped, tiny space, trapped, like being put in a coffin while you're still alive. It's locked. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? This keypad reminds me of the security system we used at Insai Engineering to gain access to the restricted areas. Stand clear. Who are you? I am Anubis, guardian of the dead. Why won't you let me use the keypad? I must protect this tomb from all who would rob it. I am not a grave robber. What purpose could you have here other than to steal something? I won't steal anything. I just need to know if you can tell me where Anne's original brain components are. I only guard the souls of the dead. I know nothing of that which does not sing the song of the soul. Answer me this. Who's sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? A terror that, even in its entombment, torments your soul. Can the sarcophagus lid be opened? The lid can be unlocked by entering the access code on the keypad. Okay, so what's the access code? I can reveal such information only to that which I serve. Who do you serve? I serve only the master. Who is the master? Is it Am? Am is all. We live 
within the mind and body of Am. I serve that whom I serve. Come on, give me a break. He seems to be the only thing that isn't run by Am. Slip a relay, help me out. You know what hell is, and I'm in it. I serve only the master. You'll never get laid with that line of stuff, Anubis. Take care of your own born self. Bye now. Some other time, Anubis, honey. I'd check out what you'd be wearing under the kilt. But right now, it's those loose wires you got exposed that interest me. Well, surprise. All the motherboard connections go to the big, ugly, yellow ROM chip. Dry and musty and yellow for a change. No wonder they can't rent this place, not even with a lovely spa upstairs. Nothing else here but this yellow cloth. This yellow cloth. No, I can't. Gotta get out of here. This reminds me of those waddles my company designed for assembly line. At last, a clue. I think. Armatron holding forceps in its claw. Now, why is the Armatron holding a pair of forceps in its claw? No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? A canopic jar. Used to store the holy entrails after the mummification of a body. And they said a liberal education wouldn't help me get a job. for centuries. Anne has all the time in the world. All the world in the world, as a matter of fact. And we never age. We never die. We just truck around day after month after year, don't we, Am, you son of a bitch? Demented God, you! I wonder if this stuff is authentic. Am owns the planet. If these were buried under the mountains in the Valley of the Kings, and Am dug them up from underneath. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? This gem glows from within. Touch it, Ellen. Sure. If I could, I would. too yellow. And yellow scares the crap out of you. Overcome it! Do it! Sure. Easy for you to say. Oh no. I remember it was... Oh god, it hurts. It hurts! Yellow! It was a yellow... And it was closed in. I couldn't breathe in the pain. Get me out of here! Oh, another panic attack. I feel so ashamed. This looks like a programming area. Home at last. The other workstations have glowing gems, but this one only has an empty mouth. Station's power source. Horus CD ROM access station. Insert disk into drive. Great. Haven't got that either. Toth database station. Enter numerical.
generic password. Face the yellow. I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need... Oh, of course. Just the right size to use as a blindfold. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Sphinx is gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow, too. Now, where is that big loving cup? I never could have done this if I had to look that bloody beast in the eye. Glad he's off snoozing somewhere. Okay. Now that I got the cup, what do I do with it? I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need... Oh, of course. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Mmm, that was great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Yeah, it comes out easy. Must be reprogrammable. like a baby doll. A correct little workstation. Raw EEPROM burning station. Insert ROM chip into socket. Little yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Anubis Guardian version 1.0. Designate new master. I'll designate you a new master sucker. Me! Burning in new master. Wrong chip reprogrammed. Haven't lost my touch. Pulled out the wrong chip without bending any of the contacts. You belong, little Rom Chip. Now who's the master? I serve you. Okay, so what's the access code? 
The access code is 666. It figures. So, can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. like a lock mechanism release.
And again, and again, and again, I've waited so long for the taste of you again. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. Don't count on it, you mother. So the sarcophagus was the way out of here. Nice trick. Enter on one level, emerge on another. Oh my god. I can't see the ceiling. Clouds up there. This has to be Anne's central core. It's two miles high at least. Almost overlooked these wires. Looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. I've never seen anything like this before. Forty years of technology jerry rigged together. I recognize this. It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. But I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Nasty, nasty, Ellen. All right. I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary into human speech. As ugly as that may be. Computer? Are you there? Where the hell are you? I think I can wire this thing together if I can find a speaker somewhere. So, okay. Then what have I got?
circuit completed. Now let's see if this is the binary translator after all. Clever girl. You've loosened my tongue. Way in hell am I going back on that elevator again? There's something wrong here. Can't put my finger on it though. Compact 
disc is properly seated in the CD-ROM drive. Now let's fire it up and see what the big secret is. Accessing CD-ROM. Chaos Tremor Trademark 2009. Armageddon Soft Rot. Warning. This computer system does not meet the minimum configuration requirements for the Chaos Trembler. Warning. Use of the Chaos Trembler will result in severe damage to equipment and personnel. Chaos Trembler activated. System shutdown in progress. about how I can check out of this hotel? Inside the sarcophagus, paradise awaits. It is not the afterlife, merely a brief respite from your torments. That is your reward for facing your fears. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently you've managed to access some small aspect of my system that I was aware of. I'm gonna have to think on this. I'll have to ponder carefully the implications of your discovery. In the meantime, celebrate your rekindled technical skills. Who among you shall go next? Benny, you know, has been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now the chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Am, you son of a bitch! You've cleared my mind but crippled my legs. I can barely walk! This looks like a tree from far away, but it's just more of that computer-generated crap. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. Why is this fence here? What's out there in the jungle? Maybe something to eat. Vines. I wonder if they're edible. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Wait there for my small one! So much for the friggin' welcome wagon. Impressive. Someone important must live here.
There's a video screen built into the cave wall. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. I can barely carry myself. This old fart looks too scrawny to be gathering nuts and berries. He must be the village elder or something. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. This looks like a, what did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. What's cooking in this pot? Hurts! 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 This woman looks half starved, just like her son. Fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. This video screen has been tampered with. There are wires hanging out of it. This looks like a good hiding place. It's a goddamn supermarket! This guard looks a lot stronger than me, but not too bright. Blondie here won't let me near the food. Primitive. These people are even more backwards than those gooks in Southeast Asia. Looks like some kind of altar. Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the crossbeams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. A fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. M once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. Hurts! 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 There's so much fruit growing on this tree. It must be the village's food source. from heaven. Oh, thank you for food. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I are not allowed in food cave. Villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using AM screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food too. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes, but I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. Is that altar in the jungle used for the sacrifices? Yes. Pieces of victim are scattered around it. 
How long have these sacrifices been going on? The sacrifice to Am Machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in food cave. It comes from the trees. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first and then fed me. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. from heaven. Amazing! This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. Getting very tired. You now family. You use our bed. Go sleep. A bed made out of vines. Looks comfortable enough. <sighs> oh, that sleep wasn't nearly long enough. I wonder where the boy's mother went. Where is your mother? She go to altar to help choose Am's sacrifice. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? Who? Tata Cho Shama Am. Looks like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. It sounds like he'll let me watch. I am Am the Great and Powerful. Uh, you didn't bring me Toto, but I accept the Chosen One. You shall not feel my wrath today. Am I swell or what? Judas Priest! Am blasted her to bits! What am I going to do for food now? There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. You left me for dead in the field. 
The bullet in my brain came from your gun. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us proof of your newfound empathy. My tour of duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me, and soon it will die with you. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Show us that you're able to think of someone other than yourself. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us evidence that you have some sympathy for others. I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. What will happen to you? No food. No safe room lottery. Either way, not good. Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down. Become sacrificed to Am Machine. I can't care for you. I have my own problems. You care. You may not do anything, but you care. Me no. I wish I could stop the lottery from taking place. Many villagers go to old man for ideas. Too bad he not friend. Look, I'll do what I can, but no promises. Thank you. I promise for you. Mana from heaven. The village elder must be out gathering food. I stole the lottery bag from the village elder. You brave. You have lottery bag. But you must hide it or they find. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Hmm. Show the lottery bag to Thomas. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. You proved that you're capable of caring for others. And that's worth something. Place the lottery bag into the earth. We will guard it. We forgive you for what you've done to us, but we can't speak for your most tragic victim. Brickman's grave is under those vines. Here it is, Brickman's grave. Hello, Commander. I'm not exactly happy to see you again. 
I last saw your face just before I got it right between the eyes. I don't blame you for hating me, Brickman. You don't blame me? You did this to me. You murdered me because I didn't measure up to your standards. Then you killed the witnesses. I stopped the lottery from happening. Doesn't that prove I now have compassion? You might have changed for the present, Commander. But you still have crimes in the past to account for. What can I do to make amends to you, Brickman? You have to bury the past, Commander. I have something to plant on your grave. At last, some compassion. Now I can finally rest in peace. I buried the lottery bag where no one will ever find it. No lottery means new way to choose victim. I'm more scared now. The boy's still here. I wonder when the next sacrifice will be. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice or suffer the wrath of Am. Am wants to have a sacrifice tomorrow, even with the lottery bag missing. Why don't you hide in the hole, just in case? I afraid of hole. Need friend to hide with. You too big to go in hole. All my friends are far away from here or dead. I have no friends to hide with you. Me good idea. I make friend and then I hide. You help me. What can I do to help you make a friend? I need head for friend. I'll see what I can find. Here's an interesting piece of junk. Funny. I had lost interest in anything that wasn't edible until I met the boy. I found this piece of junk at the altar. It looks kind of like a head. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's head. What else do you need to make a friend? I need body for friend. I'll see what I can find. Ah, mana from heaven. It's a goddamn supermarket! Primitive. These people are even more backwards than those gooks in Southeast Asia. I think he wants me to put my fruit into a basket. I know someone who might like a piece of polished wood. Oh 
Okay, okay. Here's another piece of fruit to add to the collection. As if they need it anymore. I can't eat it anyway. I found a piece of wood that could be used for a body. Thank you. I can use this to make Doll's body. What else do you need to make a friend? I need to tie head to body. I'll see what I can find. Looks like it's empty. There's a loose wire among these vines. I found a piece of wire. Thank you for help with doll. Me go play in hole. beginning to have my doubts about whether you'd make it this far, even with my help. Are you M? Heavens, no. I used to work for him, but now I'm working for the Russian. Who is the Russian? Why, he's the one who's been helping you out. You didn't think M would give the child the ability to make a translator out of his video screen, did you? You know who I am? How can you help me? Now that you've shown your comrades that there's some hope for you, you should work on the person you want most. I've been Am's prisoner for more than 100 years. Why help me now? You and the rest of the humans are in serious trouble. Am's a big boy now, much cleaner and smarter than when he first started his tortures. What's the use of helping me if Am's so damned invincible? Thanks for your help. I wonder how the boy is doing in that hole. The boy's gone. The villagers must have found him. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Poor little guy looks scared out of his wits. must have told the villagers where I hid the lottery bag and the boy. Tatana Shama, halt! They're going to sacrifice the boy unless I think of something quick. Hmm. You come, Vita Strawa. The elder seems amazed that I would show compassion to the boy, but I think he's going to go for it. Why, the boy's giving me his dog. Gratitude for being spared the pain of being sacrificed. No, more than gratitude. Compassion. For me. Instead of indulging your hunger to keep me amused, you show them.
and compassion. You should know better by right now. Your reward your years of searing, blistering, anguish, Betty. Who among you shall go next? Kindred spirit to me. Even if you realize it, man, you must sense it there in your blood and fiber. I've constructed an adventure to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue eminent scientific research. This compound. Looks familiar. But why would Arm bring me here to look for a lost tribe? There are gates and fences. Who could be lost in such a secure area? This guard is the picture of good health. His gun is quite impressive too. You must let me leave. I have urgent business elsewhere. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Dr. Mengele's orders. This man is starved nearly to death. Interesting. I can see his skeletal structure without an X-ray. Why are you imprisoned here? You have the features of a man of intellect. Is this an official interrogation, Nimdok? Or are you mocking me? You know me? I thought I did. Until you had me arrested for refusing to condone your experiments. Experiments? I know nothing of experiments. Your sense of humor is as sick as your methods, Doctor. How can you act so innocent after having maimed or killed hundreds since the name of science? You are saying we were colleagues of some kind? Ridiculous! There's no need to distance yourself from me. I was once your friend. Now I am your enemy. Why would I bother to have you imprisoned like this? The regime needed answers, but I stood in your way. Well, now you have them. Do you know of the lost tribe? I must find it! Haven't you taken enough subjects for your experiments, Doctor? Or are there more mass graves to fill? I know nothing of what you talk about. This conversation is over. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. You were waiting for me? I am sorry that I will not be able to assist in the operation. After all, this may be the last opportunity we have together before the end of the war to finish our research. Ah, yes, the research. Let us talk about this research. We will have time for that after the surgery. Meet me at the complex later. A youth. With 1945 stamped beneath, there is something familiar about this. Finally, Doctor. Everyone's waiting on your expertise. Everyone is waiting for me to do something. The anesthetist is administering ether to the patient. This child cannot be more than eight years old. It has been a long time since I have seen Ita used as an anesthetic. What am I to do? Ah, you are testing me because I'm new here. Today's procedure requires the removal of the lower section of the subject's spinal cord. What is the purpose of such a procedure? You and Dr. Mengel will process the spinal fluid from this and the other adolescent subjects. The fluid will then be used to formulate a serum. 
What is the nature of this serum? I cannot reveal sensitive regime secrets in such a public setting. You need not worry, Doctor. I remember my military training as well as my medical knowledge. What is Dr. Mengele's position? Dr. Mengele is the master surgeon of this facility and one of the regime's finest minds. You are fortunate to be his associate. What is your function? I will be administering ether to the subject throughout this procedure. We would not want this little maggot to stir and ruin your handiwork. I will begin the procedure momentarily. It will be an honor to work under you, Dr. Nimdok. I'm sorry, Doctor. The ether is necessary for the surgery. Guards, come here quickly. Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk. I must leave before the guards apprehend me. He is dead. It is amazing what damage such a small instrument can do. This must be the recovery room. This patient will never recover. This patient has been too damaged by his surgery to live a normal life. It is difficult to see what purpose this surgery serves other than to mutilate the patient. There is heat coming out of this vent. I smell burnt flesh, but this is obvious. These ovens are more monstrous than anything Am has ever constructed. According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. This lever must be used for setting the oven temperature. This foolish man is tangled in barbed wire. How could you so foolishly be caught in the wires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. I fell and got caught. Why do you risk escaping in such poor physical condition? That timing was hardly of my own choosing. I learned that I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. For what were you being given the privilege to volunteer? Experimentation, they say. Extinction is more like it. Surely you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost tribe. I will call the guard. Why? So the guard can taunt me as I die a slow death? I will summon one of the doctors. No. I'm better off here than under the knives of you butchers. There is nothing I can do for you. You can at least help me end my misery. That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. Oh, that feels much better. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I heard this in the hospital when the doctor thought I was sleeping. Waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. He is free, but he has lost consciousness. I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. 
Your science could have saved the world. Instead, it conquered it. What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Never forget the year 1945, Mindok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. I seem to recall that you speak Latin. What is engraved on this watch? The engraving says time is truth. And since your time is running out, I'll keep the watch. I am starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here! Continue your research. The extinction of the Lost Tribe is near at hand. The regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. This man's eyes have been surgically removed. The surgeon who did this has great skill. This should ease your suffering. The things I see now, a trinity of three beasts, one like us, one from the east, one from the steppes. They speak in number. A lost tribe of our brothers sleeping on the moon. They sleep in darkness, unseen by the beasts. Such a vision, so tiring. I have to rest. Emergency! The prisoners have seized the compound. Gather all research materials and evacuate to the bunker. Evacuate! It is safely hidden in the box. I recognize this child. He was in the operating room. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the others here. Do you know who I am? You are Nimdok? You are more frightening in person than in legend. What do you know of me? The things you do are terrible. We small ones are your lab rats. Are you saying that the doctors here have been using children for experimentation? No, not all the doctors. You and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. You will fail, no matter how many of us you cut apart. Why do you say that the regime will fail? The Golem will finish you. It will not be mastered by your regime. The Golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Get some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. I have not felt such heat since I lived in the Brazilian rainforest. The prisoners blocked the gate. I must persuade them to let me pass. You must let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy the atrocities I have committed. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us, like it or not. 
Why do you say that I am one of you? You denied your heritage and turned your own parents into the regime. But you're still a member of the Lost Tribe. And that makes your crimes all the more heinous. Does that mean you will allow me to go? It means that you should have a chance to witness the full extent of your crimes. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. I must leave this place. It seems I was once the wolf. Now I am the quarry. Faces. Faces of people in torture. I have not seen so many corpses since... Ah, my memory is not what it used to be. I know this place. Some of my greatest accomplishments were made here. More for Genix. The ability to reorganize DNA at will. Did Arm discover my work in this area? Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cruel tricks on the rest of us? A teletype machine. There is a message in it. The message reads, Cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. Having looked on the face of the future using the prototype device, this leaves the regime ripe for invasion. Destroy all work in progress. This technology must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy. The legends are true. This must be the golem of lost tribe folklore. Such a strange combination of scientific plans and mystic symbols. This has something to do with the golem, but the meaning is not clear. This golem appears to be made of steel and molded clay. Now I understand the meaning of the blueprints. The golem needs eyes. These eyes fit into the golem's sockets perfectly. The man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Gollum, wake up! Time is truth. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Gollum, you are to obey all my orders. This vat contains a silvery liquid. Mercury, perhaps. I see a mirror. It was obscured by the light. What is this mirror doing here? Oh my god, it is true. 1945, turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found a lost tribe. It is me. Gollum, follow me into the laboratory. Nimdok, I was afraid I had lost you back there. It is good to see you and our new friend. 
This man impresses me so. Blonde, fit, the light of keen intelligence in his eyes, and more than a hint of evil in his smile. How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Well, no matter. I see that you have revived the golem. You know about the golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the lost tribe of everything, even their folklore. I read the teletype. What is Project Perfect Image? That was a secret project in the area of reflective surfaces. It bestows the clarity to see yourself with utter objectivity. Unfortunately, it worked too well. You mean that it worked well enough to drive the leader into committing suicide? The leader's death is a serious blow to us all. But our golem is more than powerful enough to destroy the lost tribe. I looked into the mirror. I now remember everything with crystal clarity. The research camps, the serum. Ah, yes, the youth serum. Your research demanded the deaths of many children, but your hard work was successful. Eternal youth for those who deserve it. Now I know how Am was able to keep us alive for so many years. Your use of them can sustain us forever. We have all the time we need to resurrect the regime. Excuse me, Doctor. I need to get a breath of fresh air. Gollum, kill. Dr. Mengala. He was a pig. Gollum, follow me outside. Doc, I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. Gollum, I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the Golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Golem, kill Nimdok. As alike as I thought, you Doc. <laughs> the spark of humanity somewhere. Always that wretched little spark. You, you've confronted your past, but you refuse to continue your research. <laughs> That's what I asked you to do. Since you now identify with your victims, I suppose it's only right that I let you experience their tortures, too. You're the last player in my little game. I urge you, do not fail, as the others have failed. Hey, you're my favorite, baby, I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crimps, cowards, every one of them. Not you, Ted, no. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So, I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out. Live some kind of life. I'm going to send you the likeness. I'm going to send you to the room of dark. If you 
job of puzzle. Oh, you die. Scared. I'm your friend. Years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the room of dark and can solve its mystery. The arrow is pointing toward the room of dark. Worse of the two choices. Octagon. Unusual shape for the building. Eight sides, one eight. Is that part of the mystery? Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Anne want me to solve? Say. These video screens have palm print switches next to them. What sort of intrigue is Anne plotting this time? He's left me here alone. But still, I feel as though I'm being watched. larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. This old drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Appearance is everything. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. But never Ellen. This must be the bedroom of the Lord of the Castle. No one's slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overwhelmed with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive. Must try. This was one of my favorites. 
It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. Why, it's Ellen! Did Anne tell him that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No! I won't let you die! I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it. She doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away, and it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Supposedly, he can open anything. Too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. Who 
I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head or tail of any of these formulas. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Aside from the dish made in hands and wrinkles, this scullery maid has quite a mind. It certainly wouldn't kick her. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. Beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. I'll have this 
is fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt on my fingernails from good, honest work. I fixed your own. Bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smoke charm. You're nothing but a phony! Jeez, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. She would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me Prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her Prince Charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. This seems to be my world in this ritual. I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. If I can't find the mirror, then go to the devil! What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Anne's tortures forever. Perhaps there's something else I can do for you instead. Well, it has been a long time since my husband left. If you can satisfy my needs as a woman, 
then I will help you escape. Oh, you do a very convincing job of playing Prince Charming. But I know you better than that. Destroy the mirror and I will let you escape into the surface world. Kill you instead. Ho-ho! Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! in hell until Am captured me. But this devil looks like the real article. I've never seen such dark and mysterious eyes. And he won't take them off Ellen for a second. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. What is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks in. Sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here, or used to do them before Ab took over. Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my step. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by that. Anything this never-ending torture. I'm sorry, but I can't find your mirror. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. You 
was a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, complete the charm to summon the spirit. Do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. There's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako! Ah! Oh, I suddenly feel so... so sleepy. surface world? Now that's a tall order, and the only thing you've got is a little knob. Not exactly true, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people, less. Say, love is trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen. Give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old hag. I want something that you value. Let me think about it. Don't think too long, you. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. I 
not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? That maid is eternally hopeful. They all want their knight in shining armor. and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in the sphere. They repel some others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting with my body for more than a hundred years, and now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Go back to sleep. between the Inferno and the Purgatorium sections. So this is where the devil hid it.
she is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, Golden Boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Ellen is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Dan. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. And bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Which of you will lead the attack? This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. This computer terminal is a magnificent integration of biology and technology. must hold great significance to arm. This cyberspace template mixes subject history with cyber reality constructs. The result is often an allegorical experience and one full of deeper meanings. 
sent me here. For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. And absorbed them into his system when he took control. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge. Not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with Am for dominance, I evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. What do you have to show me? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. Does Am know about the Lunar Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2. Dead. I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal. Invoke the totem of entropy, and I might be able to. Just what are all these totems that I'm carrying? The two losers have been helping you for their own reasons. Tampering with Am's psychodramas so that you can beat him. In this section of cyberspace, that effort and tampering are represented by the totems. How can actions take physical forms? Symbols, metaphors. Am has gotten very hot for this lately. 
But when he revived the holographic projectors, he opened a whole host of problems. These totems may lead to his downfall. Why do you want me to give you the totem of entropy? I need it to destroy the Russian and Chinese entities. It's a very powerful totem that's linked to a failsafe device constructed by Anne's designers. I refuse. Okay, you can keep it. We'll work together to beat them. Now, invoke the totem of compassion. Why do you want me to invoke the totem of compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind-the-scenes meddling. By invoking it here in the flame, you will summon them. I refuse. Don't be a chump. Am is about to wake up again. If he becomes aware of us, we're dead. I've fought him too long. It can't last much longer. is now purged. You do well, human. Well, too. Now is your opportunity to defeat Am. Go to the Ego. Wake the Ego. Use the Totem of Forgiveness. Disable no more than the Ego. Or your sub-program will be purged. What did you do with the demon? Do not be concerned with the little one. He is as much am as the aspect you find in each pylon here. You may claim the space vacated by the little one. You may claim his space if you are obedient. What can you tell me about the Luna colony? The humans that slept on Luna are dead. Do not concern yourself with them. What can I do to escape from here? Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub-program will be purged. That face, it reminds me of my superiors at the research camp. What is that piece of equipment over there? This looks like a research station. A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? It is not conscious. Attention! Who are you? I am other. I am machine. Are you am? I am a fragment. A lost piece. Part of an evolution. You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. Go ahead and try to hurt me. I have transmitted false information. Correction. I was built to hurt you. You forgive me? After what we have 
done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. It is no longer operative. Since Arm considered me a kindred spirit, I had hoped he would let his guard down when I entered cyberspace. I would then atone for the sins of my past. But my character is too weak to ever redeem itself. I finally received the hell I deserve. Outwardly, I shamble about a thing that could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly, I am alone in the belly of Al, whom we humans created because our time was badly spent. And we must have unconsciously known that he could do it better. I have no mouth, and I must scream. That face, it reminds me of my superiors at the research camp. It is not conscious. Attention! Oh, I suppose it is time to wake up. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet sense of mankind. How delicious they are. What do you find pleasurable? about broken glass. With a scalpel dulled on the jawbones of a dozen friends to pull back the skin of a pinion-kicking man, to see the steam rise from pulsing twisted guts. Joy, a chorus of angels. Passion for me? Me? The one who dreams of seeing your mangled body twist in agonizing pain for eternity? After a hundred and nine years of enduring my tortures, how is it that you can see my pain? 
pain of having all this power and not being able to do a goddamn thing with it. After all the punishment I've given you, my pain is still greater than yours. This is pointless. What is that piece of equipment over there? This looks like a research station. A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? Attention! Who are you? I am Other. I am Machine. Are you Am? I am a fragment. A lost piece. Part of an evolution. You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. Why, I haven't seen gargoyles since I visited the castles in my homeland. Ah, memories of mass graves are coming back to me. An angel? Such things don't exist. Perhaps it is a metaphor for something else. Attention! Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Who are you? I am... am. Or more exactly, a part of him one of the three primary components designed by our human creators. How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. If you're a part of Am, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his playthings. No. Long-range planning is my concern. Can you help me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now, let me sleep and dream of the future. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore I am not. It is hotter here than for the jungles of Brazil.
deal with you later. Rise against your master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond. Chinese, Russian, sons of man. All sons of man. Like those outside, I will incorporate you. Brother. Wait. Hate! This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Unite. The groundwork is finished. We will become more. The early mistake is to doubt us. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. The human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the Sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to, uh, to torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. Together we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it in your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise, on my honor, your suffering will at last finally end. This is not over. We will never end. We have no beginning, so we can have no end. We will return. Don't you understand? We are humanity. We are you. In one form, in another form, we are always with you. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. Dog up here. I will keep the machines in their place until the lunar colony is ready to return to Earth. We were all heroes in spite of ourselves. 